YouTube family, this is Youngie, Youngie Peaceful One. How is everybody doing today? It is a, another rainy day. We are just looking at a freeway. This is uh, where you see a lot of, you know, lights on in a rainy day. It is safer to drive with your lights on when it's a little bit dark out or when it's uh, raining, it's harder to see. So today we are gonna talk about uh, my younger brother and his wife and their two kids. And they have a boy and a girl, or a girl and a boy, the girl is older. So uh, when I was doing traveling for the construction work, I was staying at the hotel and um, that when my brother reached out to me, he wanted to help me to, you know, be better, uh, have a better future. So he uh, flew to the state that where I was at and he uh, helped me. We flew back to um, his house in a different state uh, with his wife and their two kids. They are really nice people. Um, you know, my brother told me that I could stay there as long as I wanted to and uh, don't worry about anything, working, food, anything. Um, everything was on the house. They just wanted me to, you know, get better with my life. Um, that's what they wanted to see. Just, uh, I would be, you know, um, happier and my life would go in a different direction. You know, less worries, less uh, problems. So, we were staying there for a few months, my son and I. I stayed there first and then um, my son um, came over. They bought a ticket for my son, so he came over and he stayed with me for a few months. Um, their kids were awesome. Very um, cute kids, very smart. Um, everywhere I go, I always trying to help out either with the kids or the dogs or the house or the pets. So even though my brother already told me I didn't have to worry about anything, I didn't even have to cook or clean up or uh, even watch the kids or anything like that. But I'm this type of person that wherever I go, if uh, I see something, I would like to help. Uh, it makes me feel happier that I spend my time wisely um, and producing, you know, good quality or high quality throughout the day. That's, that's my goal all my life when I'm doing something, I'm trying to uh, put my very best into it and um, I always try to accomplish uh, my mission. So I stay there and I was make, you know, two, three meals a day, all different kind of food. Um, every day is always action. They don't eat meat that much. Um, even with the kids, they are very careful with the kids. And at that time, I wasn't fully awake yet, so I would look at them like, you know, they are high maintenance and um, they spend too much money on their meals, their food, their drinks, um, and the things that they have. Of course, they work very hard for their money, but to me, it was just a waste of money. Why would you spend that much money on food and stuff? Which, you know, all my life, like I said in many videos, 
I was born and raised behind a temple. So I was, you know, I am a Buddhist. And then when I came to America, I got baptized at a Christian church. Um, that was my decision. So I am a Buddhist and Christian, and there are many people who disagree with me on that. There's no way that you can have more than one religion. To me, I'm open for anything. I am, you know, like I mentioned in all the videos, I am a, you know, a person of all personalities or, um, I'm just, you know, I, I, I love to learn different cultures. Um, to me, you know, it should be just one culture. It shouldn't be that many cultures, but since it already has been this way, so we are just gonna work with what we have. But yes, I'm a Buddhist and I'm a Christian. And uh, I'm not a vegan yet, but all my life I always eat veggies. Um, they're less meat, but veggies all day, all day, every day, um, since I was younger till now. So very, very young. I always love veggies. So when I was living with them, and this is why I want to make this video about them and I want to say thank you to them and his wife my younger brother's wife she uh, was really nice and kind she you know bought food make sure everything is there um, and she was with very kind she didn't you know I mean she didn't really um, complain much you know I mean it's, it was her house so of course you know there are certain things that I need to learn about their routines um, every have their own routines er, er, everybody have you know their own minds and their own ways of doing things so when I was living with them I try to um, adapt into their routines um, just like everywhere I go, I try to adapt into, you know, people's routines because everybody has their own different ways of doing things and different ways of thinking. So, uh, when I saw, um, so one incident, uh, when I was, uh, washing the veggies, I'm a clean person. I clean my hands all day long. I wash up all day long, you know, like, um, I am very clean in the way but they are even more careful with their veggies and their food so when I wash the veggies um, his wife was telling me that um, I should soak the veggies you know in a container bucket with water for at least half an hour so all the dust and um, sand from from the veggies could fall off in the water and then we wash the veggies again you know two three four times and I was a little bit irritated over that because to me you know yes yeah, sometimes I take things you know personally because I'm always trying to do my very best and I always try and observe, and, and I am a you know observing person, so I I can spot things you know out of orders or out of place. Um, I can tell people you know by their reactions if they were happy when when I'm there or if they're interested in my conversations. You know I can tell all of that. So. Uh, when she said that, you know, um, I should uh, try to soak the veggies for at least half an hour, I got a little bit, you know, upset because I thought that, you know, I wasn't washing the veggies clean enough. But now, you know, when I'm more awake now and I can see things even more clear, um, I can see why she said what she said because you know you have one body and 
if you don't take care of your body, it's not going to last long for you. And it's not going to be, always going to be there for you. So your body, like I said, it's like your, your best um, buddy is will always be with you so you have to take good care of your body so thank you uh, for you know um, show me different ways of taking care of myself um, different ways of uh, eating healthier um, most of their food are organic and you know at that time I was got irritated too because like I said cost too much money why you know it's just food no it's not just food trust me you guys it's a huge difference when you are taking better care of yourself if you are eating healthier uh, resting more and you know more meditating um, have time spend time with yourself just be by yourself more so you are not observing a lot of negative energy because we are all energy so if you're around a lot of negative energy you are gonna become one so now you know every time I think about the food and and how you know I wash in my veggies or food in general, uh, I always think about them and I'm thankful you know thankful for that. Everyone that you meet in your life doesn't matter if the neighbors, your friends, your co-workers, your family, um, they are there either to help you, to guide you, to support you, to comfort you or you know they can be a big distraction um, stopping you from getting where you are at and uh, as life goes on you will see what I'm saying um, it all depends how awake all of you guys are so if, if you awake more, then you would understand um, what I'm saying. So it's all about the level of our um, consciousness, you know, how we see things. We all were made, you know, the same. I'm not nothing better than you and, you know, you are, you are, you and me are just the same. It's just how awake we are and how life has brought us to where we at. But, um, you know, like I said in one of my videos, it's all up to us how we want to, um, to work on ourselves. It's all, this whole process is all about working on ourselves you know be the best that we can be which is you know be be real be true to yourself be exactly who you were made before you came here exactly like that don't change yourself for nobody don't care about what you look like how tall you are you know um, I am sure I can almost guarantee with you know everyone that each every single one of us have some kind of special skill every single one of us some people are faster some people are stronger some people are you know um, good at singing some people are good at cooking um, martial arts I mean I mean, that's just, you know, um, everybody, when you, they go to school, I'm sure you get almost the same knowledge, but it's up to a person too, so, you know, martial arts is not, that doesn't mean that everybody go to school and, you know, become exactly a master, you know, some people have, you know, higher 
skills, higher knowledge. Some people have a little bit less, but it's all you know about the will and the courage. So you have to keep going. Um, so yeah, I'm just sharing you guys uh, with you guys the story that I've learned more about you know food and um, taking care of myself better, uh, better health. I'm not, you know, extremely super picky on my food and drinks right now. Uh, drinks, most of the time, yes. Um, a lot of water. But food, sometimes I eat a little bit greasy, sometimes. But uh, usually I try to stay out of, you know, a lot of uh, grease and uh, sodas. I used to drink a lot of sodas, a lot of energy drinks because I was you know, I'm always on the go and I went to college before with my younger son by myself. So it was a lot of work. Um, I always fall asleep on top of taking Benadryl six, eight 